What's up guys, it's me, Jesus Girl, and I'm back with another God of War Ragnarok playthrough. If you like it, you know what to do. Okay, now that I found how to stop the training, you have to go interact with the stone in the middle again, and got some gift from the killed slash freed Odin ravens, like there were like chests there under the tree where they were perched on. We continue with the main storyline, so here we go. Also, uh, I have to kill more of these, or free more of these Odin ravens. Um, the, there will be like more chests to open here at the tree. The first chest I managed to pick up gave Kratos this girdle of raven tears, which increases the healing from health stones, rage, and gear. So nice. I equipped it. Let's go. Okay, so... Let's go there. in this house and we go from there I guess Mimir I know this sounds weird but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies every living thing has a soul and every soul has four parts form mind direction and luck direction steers the souls of giants dwarves elves and animals toward the lake of souls in Alfheim where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. I love this there you little are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. No, Master of course Kratos, not. I would speak with you. Dear. You know Ratatoster? Of course. We were just catching Speak. up in your absence. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Taking a picture first. Yeah. A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Oh. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well then, what else, friends? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neatho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. <laughs> I... and health and safety, my friends. Thank you. I love this little dialogue. It is so well written. I love it. I love it. And there are the dragons, or not dragons. <laughs> love it. I remember from the Mm, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the free uh, game mode, which I hated because you died and had to start over all over again, but there you had to fight a dragon, which was said, I think, to be like getting corrupted, but on, on the Yggdrasil I don't know what, really, but the Yggdrasil roots, maybe. And it, it corrupted the tree as well, or just the dragon was corrupted. Anyways, so I love how 
uh, here these are like helpful beings. And of course, I'm no expert in Norse mythology, but there's like whole stories about these creatures and Yggdrasil and stuff like that. <clears throat> so if you are interested, just go check those out. Google is your friend. Okay, so we are going to Alfheim. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. It was blood bloody. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. They seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Graffiti in dark elf territory next to a statue of their ancestors, the elves before the division of light and dark. The message being what exactly and for who? Either the elves have seen the statue and ignored it, or they are more concerned with mastery of the light. What a delight! <laughs> okay, anything here? We are not going that way. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. <laughs> Why can't I go down there? Yikes. Hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. <gasps> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. Uh -oh. pain. Which way to go? Which way to go? Oh, I don't want to lose anything here. Or leave anything here. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. The Jewel of Alfheim is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming with an unequalled diversity of life. From the majestic Havgufa and their dolls, the Song of the Sands, to the wide array of turtles and lizards found in the Hjarta, and the abundant herds of gazelle and ibex roaming the shifting dunes. All creatures of the desert are given breath by the grace of the light. Take a moment to witness the grandeur and reflect. Keep well thy robe. And music. The song of the sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. <laughs> I knew there was a way down here. Uh -huh. 
Okay, now we can go squeeze through that. like some kind of animal how could anything live in a storm like that plenty of caves under the desert not exactly a paragon of comfort but the dark elves get on best they can okay these are better than the ones where i have to throw the axe Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I won't reach it from here. He's fast. There, I mean. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bye, Frost Eyes. <laughs> is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no on your chest. We'll be right along. <laughs> ah, <very well>. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good my dad loves loot <laughs> oh my god this is so good so funny i love i love the writers they they are oh my god <laughs> This is so good. Such a fourth wall breaking little thing. And it works. It works so much. I, I have tears in my eyes from laughing so hard. Oh my god, this is so good. I have goosebumps. My dad loves loot. <laughs> That's so right. So true. <laughs> Oh my god, this made my day, I swear. <laughs> Such a meta thing to say. <laughs> oh my god, my dad loves loot. I'm gonna cackle about this for a while. <laughs> so don't mind me. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> oh, you little fucker. And it's so cool that we are, like, now freeing these birds, not killing them. <clears throat> because they are like slaves to Odin. So they practically thanked us. These are some creepy... 
bodies. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. <laughs> so I need the X. Oh. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh. Nice. I didn't know it could do that. Very nice. Sorry, that loves loot. Sorry, that last loot. <laughs> oh! Ah! Yep, I found the dodge button. Of Ripped apart by his audience. There's a gap in the fence over there. Throw more poem. Dad loves loot. <laughs> this still cracks me up. <sighs> what? What? Sorry. What? A tracking axe throw that ricochets between targets, marking by pressing R1 repeatedly. Wow. Pressing R1 repeatedly. I will totally forget this. Okay. Let's go with Oh, uh-huh, that's a heavy, uh, light runic attack. We don't have a heavy one yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat it, but yeah. <laughs> Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. There's a gap in the fence over there. Yeah, yeah. We have good eyes. Did you mention mm -hmm. how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. What? That didn't sound good. Let's take a picture. There's a gap in the fence over there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. That's enough. Please. You don't need to do this. 
We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa. What the hell was that? That's about the fan. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Uh, I hate Alphonse. Alpha. Alpha. Uh -huh. so that will interrupt that. Gap in the fence over there. Oh, they attack. Stop us. saying that. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father yep. said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. There's a gap in the fence. Okay. <laughs> There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, come on! How could you see that from right far away? I mean, come on. That has to be... That has to be a glitch. To beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. This charm is meant to absorb nightmares. The principle behind such magic is not a local one, but a theory picked up by tear from the western lands. The premise is a simple one. Nightmares seek us out in the dark, hoping to crawl into our minds and corrupt them from within. Charms such as this are meant to distract and trap the nightmares, tangling them up in the charms threads until sunrise can incinerate the devious bastards. So it's like a dream catcher. In this case, there's yes. a gap in the fence over there. Oh, shut up. What's that? What is that? Oh, we don't have the whatever we need for this. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have yeah. the right tools for this one. But there is a gap in the fence over the there. Fence over there. Oh, come on! <sighs> so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, come on! That's the only thing you can say. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. There's well, a gap in the fence over there. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. And here, you keep pushing forward.
Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? There's a gap in the fence over there. <laughs> There's no fence. Oh. What's a dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. There's this a gap is in the pretty. fence over there. Come on! I think I will have to restart the game soon because this is gonna kill me. If he keeps saying this over and over and over and over again. Oh, look at that! This is beautiful. This is beautiful. The details, the little spider or whatever just crawled out of there. Wow. Wow, the glistening. Ooh. There's a gap in the fence over there. Oh, Atreus. Shut up. Shut up about that fence. Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. This is beautiful. Above the door. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. But there's a gap in the fence over there. <laughs> there's a gap in the fence over there. Come on! What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. This place is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, that life loves loot. Wow. Whoa. It's the light. Ah. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Wow. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Wow. This place is beautiful. Ooh, you survived. Imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I'm taking a big picture even with the compass visible. Did Atreus get over the fence thing? Let me try talking to them again. They may uh -huh. let these two do their thing, brother. Oh shit. Not what I want them to do. But okay. 
This is the new... So this is the new rune or whatever attack. I like that. Here. They came across on light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Beautiful. Simply beautiful sorry that likes the loot just making sure I'm not leaving anything behind lucky for us squaring off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture this way Trying to wait. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. Wow. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use alchemist light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Further up, but I want to go down for that chest. I guess it will be on the other side. Love how the music also is different in this realm. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, you know. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Pitch on the left. Anything, uh, interesting to Yep. Oh, no, no. Huh. Glad we explored. Okay, so... We have this. And this is the new one. A force will stab that embeds a fiery bomb which detonates after a brief delay. Let's try it. See? Exploring. Exploring pays off. Even if your son makes fun of you. Bifrost Bridge. I know it is not uncommon to hear the voices of those we have lost in the light, so I decided to run one little experiment. 
with the permission of the temple's guardian, of course. I was missing my beloved Astrid or something terrible, and though perhaps if I could hear him one last time, I would feel more at peace. I packed up some of his favorite things, his blanket, the stuff that's a warm eye in hand, enchanted to uh, squeak when squeezed, and an old drake bone with the teeth mark still imprinted, and set them down near the light to see if I could perhaps call to his soul. I sat quietly for quite some time. I called to him. It was very difficult to confirm, but after a while I swear I could hear the distinct sound of his paws on wood, gentle clicking from his nails, just the way they used to sound at home. They grew close, my heart beat faster in anticipation, but as soon as the sound started, they faded and I heard no more. Perhaps I will try again one day, but for now I will choose to believe he has found joy in the light and needs the comforts of his old life no more. I'm glad for him. This place is beautiful. Oh, there's an Odin Raven. And I will need to use this, I think, this stone to kill it. Free it, sorry. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. No. Is the right angle. Oh, come on. I do it from there. No, I can't. Come on. It's not gonna work. Oh. Which is the right angle? Ah, no. nice. Okay, so we've been down here. We killed that bird there. Okay, up there then. Shall we continue? Not so sure. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. 
Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. <laughs> Oh, we came from here, right? No. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring. In which Quasi provides readers with their own tools for crafting stories. Visions of the rest lay in wait for explorers crafted by the imps and filled with music, joy, or horror. Among these fanciful realms lie endless creation and possibilities where the limit is one's own imagination. Okay. The Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? I didn't even try yet. Nope, I guess I will have to go up there anyways. Salutations, we mean you no harm. Here. Get back. This is so cool. What I wanted to do was okay. Oh, I need to wait because it needs some cooldown. short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Boys. I want that. Did we get everything? Looks like it. made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. <laughs> Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
Come on. What do I do with this, by the way? Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, maybe uh -huh, I will have to let this go. The angle looks right. I just have to. Go up. But what's in here? Because father likes to loot stuff. That looks interesting. Oh. I need to... No. Okay, if I <clears throat> let it go, then it goes down. So I will have to... No, not that way. Why do you show me that it's the right angle? when it isn't. Because it totally isn't. Oh, I will have to like, let this thing go. No, that's too fast. Oh, no. Do I freeze it in place? No. Oh, my God. Try us a little help here, please. Cannot freeze it. Cannot let it go. How about the kid holding this? Hmm? That would be helpful. Okay, I won't figure this one out. Not enough. This is too much. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, clever use of your axe, Kratos. Okay. Okay. That was my bad. 
That was my blonde moment. Again. So that's why it was blue. Why'd we explore? Hilt of Gram. Burst of rage and apply stun to nearby enemies. Upgrades increase the amount of rage gained. Bonus to melee damage. Hmm. Hmm. How about we try it? We can upgrade it. Find the right angle. No, I cannot do that from here. Continue our set. Thanks, dear. That was useful for once. Not like with the kid. Boy. Behind you, look out! Not Still not go that good with the axe. I prefer the blades. that they reward me for destroying stuff. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. <laughs> okay. I'm running out of time. So before we go much further in, 
I'm gonna end this video here and see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye and peace.